Hey guys, it's Award here, back again with another review, and today we are having a look at the McFarlane Monsters Hunchback of Notre Dame playset. Just bear with me as we did it. There we go. Put something back real quick. I'm trying to find something big enough to put the camera on so I can film this. Proves to be quite difficult sometimes. So, <laughs> the Hunchback playset is really tall. I mean, really tall. Some of them are a lot flatter, like the Mummy one and the Frankenstein one. But this one, the Phantom of the Opera one, heck, I think even the Swamp Monster one, are really tall. The Dracula and the Werewolf are also flatter, I believe. That's what she said. But, uh, it does come with a couple of accessories here. I'm just going to take a look at those quick. It's got a little gargoyle. Which, of course, is a staple hunchback. So, you got that. You got um, the hunchback himself. He's holding on to the string for the bell there. He's got a little bit of articulation. His head won't move because, uh, well, it's busted in the box. <laughs> so, it's like pinned and glued in place now. Uh, his arms rotate. His wrists are separate, but... Good luck moving those. And his uh, torso will rotate. And his legs will move. So, decent amount of articulation for an ugly little bastard. Um, last but not least, we have this guy. I'm surprised it didn't come with, like, Frollo or something. <laughs> Comes with an executioner. Now, this is the coolest part of the set. I love this dude. His axe is kind of crap, because it is warped, but you can get past that. Is it decently done? At I wish this didn't have, like, little black things on it. It's kind of stupid, but you got him. <laughs> he's the best part. Uh, he's got uh, rotation in the head and the waist. His arms will move up and down, and this wrist moves. This wrist is in place to the armor plating here. It's kind of weird because this almost looks the same. But it's not. This is a different plate from this one. I wonder why they did that. And then nothing in the legs. So, the least articulated, but overall, I think he's the coolest figure. Um, yeah, I like him. And then he can't hold his axe with just one hand. And through that, you could probably, yeah, get it to straighten itself out a little better. Kind of looks like a quarryman from Gargoyles. Completely honest with you. <laughs> as weird as that is. And this is a. It's fantastic. <laughs> little executioner there. Now the bell tower, sort of, itself. It's got the bell in there, which is good. That's what this string is for. You can pull it, and the bell will ring. Sound nothing like a bell, although I guess you could put a real bell in there. Um, it's got a little catapult, which sort of works. <laughs> it is actually what you're supposed to put the gargoyle in if he's not chilling out down here or even up here I suppose at least stay up here yeah but that makes no sense so you could stick him in there and you can have this fling him out doesn't really do much try it again eh. decent I suppose and, uh, yeah, it's just a nice little uh, backdrop for your uh, monster figures. So. Or dare I say, any three and three quarter inch line, Marvel Universe, Star Wars, G.I. Joe. You um, can put a lot of stuff in with this. It's a really nifty piece. So. 
Nice details. Someone's going crazy outside. Nice details on the stone. I mean, it's fairly simple to build. Pain in the butt to fit all the pieces together, but it's a simple build. There's not a lot of pieces to it. Not like a dang Erector or Lego set. Set Erector, not Erection, perverts. Um, but yeah, so let's see if we can get the gang down here. Put this little gargoyle fella back up here. This is the only problem. This gargoyle needed a peg in it. Or a peg hole. <laughs> That's all it needed. Because it does not want to sit up here. It's a very, very loose fit. You think it's going to like mount and like stay there? You're crazy. Yeah, let's pan the camera down. You know what? Let's lift it up. Move Rorschach's box out of the way. And set the camera down. So, this is what the set looks like in its entirety. A really cool set. Um, I would recommend it to monster fans, of course. Obviously, spawn guys might get a kick out of it, too. Really nice, though. So, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this a 10 out of 13, just because the figures are kind of static, and I wish our executioner's legs would move, and that gargoyle's just pain in the butt. Not necessarily a tower, either. It's more like a kiosk <laughs> to be honest with you but you know what do you expect um and the, i don't necessarily care for the look of this quasimodo i mean i can't really tell where his eyes and nose are so i mean you can but it's like really really weird just just weird <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of 13 Days of Halloween's Day 10, Day 10, and uh, stay tuned, more of these on the way, until next time, catch you guys later.